Hello, my name is Alexis and I'm a museum educator at the Baltimore Museum of Industry. Let's talk about the Afro-American newspaper and its founder, John Murphy. John Henry Murphy was born enslaved in Baltimore in 1840. Following the emancipation at age 24, Murphy joined the United States Colored Troops and fought in the Civil War. He taught Sunday school and produced a bulletin for the Bethel American Methodist Episcopal Church. During a time of racial segregation and inequality, black churches often printed their own publications to share information and opportunities for their community. Understanding church's influence and the lack of black news and white press outlets, Murphy merged his Sunday school helper with two other church publications in 1892 to found the Afro-American newspaper. The Afro-American reported on news regarding the black community, provided a platform for black owned businesses to advertise and also provided job opportunities in the printing industry at a time when African-Americans were often excluded. Covering racial inequality in housing, education, public accommodations, and jobs, the Afro-American established itself as Baltimore's premier publication for the advancement of civil rights. After Murphy's death in 1922, his son Carl took over the newspaper and continued his father's legacy of uplifting the black community and upholding democracy through the freedom of the press. Today, the Afro-American is the oldest Black-owned newspaper in the country, and the Murphy family still plays an active role in running the paper.